Hi guys and welcome to our channel. These are our top 7 cities in Portugal and what you can realistically do and see in a day without killing yourself trying to tick all the landmarks off. With our backpacks and no plan, we've traveled around Portugal and saw 7 cities in 7 days. If you've discovered a new place to visit in our video, please let us know in the comments. Number 1. Obidos. Obidos is a charming medieval town with a rich history and plenty to offer visitors in just one day. You can find yourself a traditional and romantic accommodation in the historical center for around 70 euros. And now let's explore this fairy tale town. Take a peaceful walk along the well-preserved town walls for panoramic views and photo opportunities. This place is a romantic heaven where time-worn cobblestone streets and enchanting medieval architecture whisper timeless tales of love and history. You cannot miss the opportunity to try the traditional local drink Jinja, a cherry liquor. The price for these shots vary from 1 euro to 1 euro and 50 and you will enjoy the chocolate afterwards. Then you can relax at the Praça de Santa Maria, it's the town's main square. Or scroll down Rua Gireta, the main street that is lined with whitewashed houses, shops and coffees. Browse the local crafts and souvenirs including ceramics, lace and embroidery. You can admire the beautiful churches and cathedrals of the city. They are a mix of Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque styles. You will be mesmerized by the beautiful ceilings. They are truly a work of art. If you want to find out why the buildings are painted like this, check our full episode from Obidos. Find a proper Portuguese restaurant and try a traditional dish, you will not regret it. Eddie had the best steak in his life. After dinner, have a quiet walk, discover the last touristic street, smell the flowers and just enjoy the moment. You can have a last glimpse of the city after the sunset from the city walls, just be careful when climbing. Number 2. Porto. It's a vibrant coastal city renowned for its stunning Douro River views, historic architecture and world-famous port wine. You can find unique accommodation with the reception in a vintage shop for about 80 euros in a city center and a very kind owner that will help you with the city map. Our host provided us with port wine that we were able to try. Afterwards, we emerged into the city. If you're lucky enough to stick to a group, you can visit Palacio da Bolsa. You can cross the Dom Luis Primero Bridge. That is an iconic double-deck iron bridge that elegantly spans the Douro River, offering breathtaking views of the city and its picturesque waterfront. To return back on this side, you can use the cable car only if it's not too windy and it will cost you around 8 euros per person if you want to grab a bite please visit the food market next to the cable car station and you will have a full experience when it comes to portuguese cuisine and people as well after you've tried all the delicious portuguese pastries 
adventure yourself into the narrow streets winding throughout historic neighborhoods like Ribeira and Miragaya that are a charming maze of colorful houses, traditional shops and cozy cafes. And of course, don't forget to have some fun as well! After all this walking, you must visit the Church of St. Francis. It's a Gothic church renowned for its lavish Baroque interior, adorned with intricate gold leaf woodwork, making it one of the most impressive and opulent religious sites in Portugal. And for the brave ones, you can visit the crypt as well. Then you can enjoy a delicious dinner and have a late night walk. And don't worry, Porto is very safe. Please check our full episode from Porto for more insights. Number 3. Viseu. Located in the heart of Portugal, it's a cultural gem celebrated for its blend of historical architecture, vibrant art scenes and deep-rooted traditions. You can wander along these charming streets filled with traditional shops, artisanal boutiques and old houses, giving you a glimpse into Viseu's past and you will find a lot of street art as well. Our accommodation in Viseu was at the family farm. We had the chance to connect with the owners and with the city itself. And of course, we have tried the local food and wine. And I must say, it was one of the best experiences ever. If you want to find out more about this accommodation, please check out our full episode from Viseu. Carolina, one of the owners, she has introduced us to the three types of port wine, the vintage one, the 10-year-old port and the white one. It was amazing to find out about the process that takes place in producing this amazing drink. You can walk through the central square surrounded by historical buildings, shops and cafes. It's a great spot for people watching and soaking in the local atmosphere. For only 2 euros per person, you can check out the Gal Vasco Museum. This museum houses an extensive collection of works by the Renaissance painter Vasco Fernandes and other Portuguese artists. Make some time and visit the city churches, as they are the proof of amazing man's craft. But don't miss out to visit the Viseu Cathedral. This one dates back to the 12th century, and it's a remarkable example of Romanesque and Gothic architecture showcasing Portugal rich religious and architectural history.
you will observe that Viso has notable Roman influences, making this town beautiful and unique. Number 4. Leiria Leiria is a historic city known for its stunning medieval castle, which offers panoramic views of the city and the Lys River. The city boasts a vibrant cultural scene with charming narrow streets, beautiful parks and a rich architectural heritage, making it so captivating. Portuguese people are very talented and you'll discover a lot of murals that they will delight your eyes. The pearl of the city is Leiria Castle. Positioned atop a hill overlooking the city, it's a majestic medieval fortress dating back to the 12th century. It offers stunning panoramic views, well-preserved towers and walls, and a glimpse into Portugal's rich history throughout its architectural features and small museum housed within the castle grounds. For sure, you will get mesmerized by this view, as it looks like it's out of this world. After you enjoy the history lesson, find yourself a restaurant where you can indulge yourself with a well-deserved meal. We've came upon a Mexican restaurant that has quite a story to tell. After your dinner, go and explore the city. Leiria is known for its vibrant street art scene, with numerous murals adorning the city walls, adding a contemporary flair to its historic ambience. These murals, created by local and international artists, transform public spaces into open-air galleries. The city takes on a magical atmosphere at night and it's a great way to end your day. Please check our full episode from Leiria for more ideas. Number 5. Aveiro or the Little Venice Aveiro, often referred to as the Venice of Portugal, offers a charming blend of picturesque canals, historic sites and local culture that can be enjoyed in one day. Let's see what we've managed to do in a couple of hours. Explore the Aveiro canals. Take a Moliseiro boat tour along the canals. These traditional colorful boats originally used for seaweed harvesting now offer a scenic way to view the city's Art Nouveau buildings and vibrant atmosphere. Navigate the streets and have a full glimpse of the locals. Some of them they might be quite funny. You will discover as well that these streets are a delightful mix of colorful tiled houses, Art Nouveau facades and picturesque canals, creating a charming and vibrant atmosphere that reflects both the city, rich history and its maritime heritage. You can visit the city churches to admire the blue tiled walls and the beautifully painted ceilings.
you can adventure yourself into places, only to discover, for example, a unique Art de Sacre exposition. If you would like to find out more about this beautiful city, please see our full video from Aveiro. If you're lucky enough, you can enjoy a private concert rehearsal. Aveiro is home to vibrant fish and vegetable markets that offer a glimpse into the local culture and culinary traditions. You will find a wide range of fresh locally ground produce including fruits, vegetables, herbs and flowers. I've sampled some strawberries and they were delicious. If you're traveling with your loved one, you can tie a ribbon on the bridge as a sign of your loving commitment. At the end of the day, enjoy a proper Portuguese dish and don't forget to try the local sweets called ovo smolas. Number 6. Lisbon You can start your day by visiting Praça do Comércio, the square located by the Tejo River, admire the Arco da Rua Augusta and enjoy the stunning views. Lisbon is a vibrant city known for its stunning views, lively neighborhoods and rich culinary scenes. The highlight of our day in Lisbon was Route 28 or Tram 28. In Lisbon is one of the city's most famous and beloved tram routes, offering a scenic journey throughout some of Lisbon's most historic and picturesque neighborhoods. Trams can get very crowded, especially during peak touristic seasons, but early mornings or late afternoons are typically less crowded and then you can use them peacefully. You have two options when visiting Lisbon. One is to walk and you need to be physically fit, or the second you can take a tuk-tuk that will take you around and you will see all the landmarks. The abundance of stairs in Lisbon is primarily due to its hilly topography. Lisbon is famously known as the city of seven hills, which means that it is built on a series of steep incline and declines. This geographical characteristic has influenced the urban layout and architectural design of the city in several ways. Stairs are integral to Lisbon's urban fabric, providing pedestrians access between neighborhoods and public squares and viewpoints just like this one. And again, you cannot ignore the food markets. Look how good they look. You can have samples, you can try some wine and some cheese. For more insights, please check our full episode from Lisbon. Number 7. Coimbra Our highlight for our day in Coimbra was actually our accommodation. It's a new concept of a hotel called Zero Box. The rooms have no windows, no TV, no mini bars and no jacuzzi. So prepare yourself to wake up in the morning in pitch black. So for 60 euros you will get the room plus the amazing services of Rudy.
Coimbra, known for its rich history and vibrant academic atmosphere, offers a variety of attractions that can be enjoyed in one day. Fortunately, the day when we arrived in Coimbra was raining a lot, which had a great impact on our trip, but we still managed to do some bits and pieces. With that weather, it was quite difficult to climb up on the hill and visit the University of Coimbra, one of the oldest universities in the world and the oldest in Portugal. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site with a rich history and impressive architecture. If you're visiting one day like us, please make sure that you're checking the opening hours as the Juanina Library and the Royal Palace have specific visiting hours. You can cross the river and explore the other side of the city if you are not tired enough. You can visit the Little Portugal, it's a miniature park featuring scaled down replicas of Portuguese monuments and traditional houses. Make sure that you're trying at least one traditional pastry, which is filled with pumpkin cream. And of course, you need to find a restaurant to enjoy a typical Portuguese meal. For more details about this city, please see our full video in Coimbra. Thank you for watching and if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you and take care.